Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars, this is Angel, we love you. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week, the sun is in the sign of Virgo. Happy birthday to you, we love you, Virgos. The moon will travel in the signs of Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. Well, this week could be a little dramatic, not like like sweet. On Monday, the sun will make an opposition to Neptune, planet of dreams, making us a little bit emotional. It could bring lots of smoke and mirrors everywhere. And somehow it could lead to some misunderstanding, confusion, where it's hard to differentiate reality from illusions, and that's from wrong, but we'll have an opportunity both sides. A week to be grounded, direct, logical, honest, and kind. On Tuesday, Venus, planet of love, and Mars, planet of war, meet up in the sun of Leo. That's very powerful. It's usually a good thing, but with Venus going backwards, retrograding, it brings a lot of narcissism, like a feeling like I am invincible, ego trips, a feeling of me, myself, and I kind of attitude like you know who and anyways Saturday the perfectionist Sun in Virgo will make a nice trine to the Pluto in the sign of Capricorn and that will bring us a sense of relief of sanity a chance maybe to go deeper inside to confront our demons see everybody else's problems and do something about it address it and heal it that's why all the shadow stuff is there is to bring to the light no big deal in the news we will see that the karma is doing its work it'll be a lot of fun it's fun when the karma is taking action and you could see how <laughs> what goes around comes around and on sunday venus will end its retrograde and stay in leo until october which could definitely bring definitely hope a sense of justice things will become more normal when Venus and Leo is going frontwards, oh my God, it's more joie de vivre, it's more sharing, it's more compassion, less ego, more justice, a good time also to express your self-confidence by next week especially, but you'll feel that like Saturday and Sunday this coming week. And it's a week also, especially on the weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday to if you want to get engaged, you want to get married, you want to fall in love, you want to pitch a project in show business, anything to do with Leo, wow, a great time to do that after Friday this week. Let me start with you with Virgos now. Happy birthday to you, my cuties. You are the luckiest sign this year. I keep reminding you, believe in yourself, forget about the past, and make it the way you want it. Life is what you make it. Stars bring a fresh start this week. A good time to experiment, explore new possibilities, be daring and try something new, let go of the past, forgive, forget, especially in love, it's not worth it. And in your career, you are moving in a new exciting direction. And the more initiative you will take, the more daring you will be, the bigger the success. On the weekend, make amends, show your appreciation, and also get together with people you love. Your magical color turquoise, like numbers 9 and 54. Libra, stars bring leadership and a fresh start. In career, stress and dependence, explore, discover, ask questions, do things in a different way. Your diplomatic approach brings a lot of results and I know you feel more secure now. I love it. And somehow you have a lot of influence. And I would say that in career, in finances, the spectacular awaits. On the weekend, spend quality time with special people in your life. It's time now. Intimacy, togetherness, sharing. Your magical color, turquoise, lucky numbers, one and ten. Scorpios, Pluto and the Sun that bring blessings and bring new exciting opportunities. More flow in energy, especially in career. Somehow you're more powerful and the way you assert yourself allows you to push your initiatives towards success. So don't worry, be happy, you're doing good. Soon or later, you will reap the fruits of all your hard labor. You will see by October, November, your birthday, it will all fall into place magically. On the weekend, love will reward you. So if you're single or married, romance is there for you. Your magical color red, lucky numbers 2 and 11. Sagittarius, smile, smile, smile. You are beautiful, stars 
Stars this week make you very confident, inventive, but also sensitive to the needs of other people. Whoa, I love it. This is an ideal time to get things done, to know where you stand in love, and to make your moves in career, and it's very fulfilling. And the more you take care of obligations and you keep your promises, the better your success. On the weekend, you may feel like spending time by yourself. I think it's a good idea. Pisces, Cancers, and Aries really show they care. Your magical color for sure, lucky numbers, three and 30. Capricorn stars make you daring and quite unconventional, not too conservative. Your mind is opening, I love it. A good time to release old structures, explore, experiment, new ways of doing things. You attract people with different points of view that actually could broaden your horizons. Is romance in your mind? You want to be in love? You want to be loved more? Well, make your move this week or if you're a bachelor, go out because you can find somebody quite special, especially on the weekend. Your magical color, pink lucky like numbers, 4 and 22. Aquarius, stars highlight your relationship sector and make you popular, innovative, and very artistic. You also have a way with words. You're in the good mood and you want to give a hand to many people, especially the people in need. You make a difference everywhere you go. Thank you. A good time also to do things uh, in a way that is out of the box and also to show your gratitude. So if you want to say thank you to somebody, this is the week. At work, you're definitely uh, making fabulous progress. Just keep walking. On the weekend, you receive the ultimate proof of how much people care about you. Isn't that cool? Your magical color violet, lucky number 6 and 33. Ta-da! Pisces, stars bring enthusiasm, deep emotions, and high creativity. Well, that's your forte. The focus is on making changes, creating the life you want, the life you deserve. Are you worthy? Of course you are. Concentrate on your uniqueness. Concentrate on your belief system, on your faith, your ideas, and on your goals. Make it the way you want it. Now the weekend, get ready for closeness with friends and family. Enjoy it because you deserve that now. Your magical color orange, like in numbers 9 and 36. Aries, stars bring confidence, more flow of energy, and you are in a great mood to really achieve wonderful things. You decided now, I'm gonna be super positive, I'm not gonna be a victim anymore, I'm going for what I want and I'm gonna get it. That's the way to go. Romance is in the air, you should organize a getaway or some romantic weekend or something like that with somebody special on the weekend, or at least a friend, or if you're single, go on a cruise or do something. Go to bars and go in dancing and be pretty and go for it. Your magical color red, lucky numbers four and 31. Taurus, you feel more serene. Stars bring closeness and good discussions with family, kids, friends. You are also very popular in your social activities. Allow Somehow people, they allow you to shine this week. I love it. So hey, wear the crown proudly. It's your time to shine. Your integrity, your patience really helps you make the right decisions about work, about family affairs. Slowly but surely, my little turtle Taurus is getting exactly where you need to be. On the weekend, peace and joie de vivre is in your heart. Your magical color green, lucky numbers four and 51. Gemini's, stars bring a new energy, a new way of doing things. Time to rethink your philosophies, your belief system. You want to, to make other people happy and you're finding new ways to do so in love and friendship. Be realistic though. Watch out for illusions and see things as they really are, not the way you want them to be, and clean it up a little bit. In career, you receive encouraging news and somehow there's change in the air and at the end of the day, it's all for the better good of yourself and everybody around. On the weekend, open your heart, share your feelings. The more you give, the more you receive. Your magical color turquoise, like number six and 43. Cancers, cancers, stars make you alert, smart, sensitive to energy. You can feel anything, your antennas are right up there. Security issues could be on your mind. Compare your earnings versus your spending and make a balanced budget. In career, a breakthrough awaits. Good surprise. Be ready to take the stage, ta -da, and look the part. Shared efforts bring amazing results in career. And somehow, what do you need to do to manifest your dreams? Where do you want to be in a couple of years from now? Think about that, especially on the weekend, because the muses will inspire you. 
Two magical color yellow lucky number seven and 34. Leo, stars make you shine. Ah, your crown is back, you're powerful and brilliant. Very intuitive. Finish what you start, let go of the old ways of doing things, prepare for something new, strive for universal appeal, and connect with new kind of people that you are attracting in your life right now. They could really help you take the direction that you deserve. Time to push on your wildest dreams. You are in a very good position to receive. In love, somehow, you also see things in a different way. And the people who want to be single, maybe they don't want to do that anymore. Yeah, it's a good idea. On the weekend, just have fun and rest and just take care of number one. Your magical color gold, lucky numbers 8 and 44. And now, here's your wizard affirmation of this quite interesting week. It's dramatic, but it's also a breaking ground. So it's, it's, we're moving forward. Remember, life is perfect and you're perfect. And it's always for the better good. And this week, the question is, what is most important? To be right or to be kind? I think to be kind. But remember that in every opinion, there's always a seed of truth. How do we have a fabulous conversation with somebody? Very simple. Take the time to listen. Then you can add your own opinion, then listen to the opinion, add your opinion, and voila, you have a fabulous conversation and you learn something. I love that. Be kind, not be right. Be kind. Bye. Tell me, Georgia Astrobot.